Yo, what's up, Fizzy and Pat? That's the 2018. Yeah, Lakeview, 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 Lakeview. You are currently watching the silver and blue. Every single Friday when you tune in, deja vu. If you don't know what we're all about, then homie, catch a clue. Anytime you come through, we bring you the husky news. Our show's like some candy, got you asking trick or treat. Yeah. Take a lick of our show and then you'll know it is sweet. What? Pat with the rhymes, fizzy with the beat. Okay. Any given week, you know the husky. He's bringing the heat. That intro video was dope. Yeah, heck yeah, boy. Good morning, Lakeview. I'm Finn. And I'm Pat. And this is Silver and Blue. We'd like to start today out with a big congratulations to this month's Student of the Month, Jenna Zatkoff. Okay, I nominated Jenna. Um, actually, it wasn't for her academic performance. It was the way she helped her peers in class. Uh, what really stood out to me about Jenna is that she did a really good job uh, with her group work and leading her group, um, helping students who were having a hard time understanding. Um. It feels good to have been nominated because I worked very hard for my achievements. Since Jenna won Student of the Month, Lakeview High School will be awarding her one free lunch sub from Jimmy John's. The powerlifting club will begin after school on Wednesdays, Mondays, and Fridays at 3 o'clock. It is open to both girls and boys. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. One thing we've noticed is that it seems as if Christmas season has already started. Is it too early? Right. Is it too early for Christmas music? Yes, because Thanksgiving hasn't came yet. But the day after Thanksgiving, anybody can do it. Yes. Yes. No. No, just get in spirit. No. I mean, yes. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, definitely not too early for Christmas music, but it's a little early to like be buying Christmas like decorations and whatnot. That's definitely for sure. Oh, no, not at all. I'm scared, actually. Christmas year round. Yes, it is. Mariah Carey's voice is dead for a reason. It's because she sings before it's Christmas time. I don't think it's too early for Christmas music. Christmas music should be an all-year-round thing, okay? That's why they're Browners. Agreed! <laughs> it's not too early for Christmas music. It's never too early for Christmas music. It's just music. Like, listen to it when you want. Yes. Okay, listen to me. It's, it's November. At this date, at this exact time, it is 8.45 on Tuesday, November 14th. November 14th. Alright? We have, like, nine days till Thanksgiving, and the, the day after Thanksgiving, Dude, I don't care. You can blast Christmas music as loud as you want. It's still time for Thanksgiving. Don't forget Turkey Day. That's it. That's all I got. No. What do you think? <laughs> Obviously, the answer to that question is no, it's not too early for Christmas music. Uh, 100.3 WNIC, J Towers in the morning. I listened to the kickoff a few weeks ago, last Thursday, 8.15 a.m. I was there listening live as they went from, from crappy old music to Christmas music, uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I actually almost cried, and I'm not even kidding to you. Uh, I almost cried at 8.15 in the morning when they went to Christmas music, so enough said. Here are five more random facts from Allie Colson. This is Allie Colson with your five random facts. Tigers have striped skin, not just fur. And stripes are like fingerprints. No two tigers have the same stripes. People can suffer from a psychological disorder known as boanthropy. This makes them believe that they are a cow, and they will try to live their life as if they were a cow. The brain is our fattiest organ. It is made up of nearly 60% fat. Rubbing a banana peel on a mosquito bite can help stop the itching. You are more likely to die from a falling coconut than a shark attack. Those are random facts for this week. See you next time. Make sure to buy a yearbook. The deadline is next Friday, December 1st, and there will not be a chance to get any after the deadline. Extras will not be ordered. Speaking of Thanksgiving, what's your favorite food? How about your favorite holiday activities? Hi, Garrett. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? <sighs> Broccoli. Definitely the stuffing. That really? Definitely the pumpkin pie that my grandma's made. Mm -hmm. I like the stuffing. Thanksgiving food. Cranberry sauce. Food. Cheesy potatoes. Uh, macaroni and cheese. Food. Cranberries. Thanksgiving food. Mashed potatoes. Uh, turkey that I shot. Hopefully that I did shoot every year. Um, and then duck gumbo. 
peas and corn. Well, since my family's Mexican, I like making enchiladas and eating them. Burgers. Hi, uh, what's your favorite holiday activity? Opening presents. I like to make Christmas cookies with my family. My favorite holiday activity is going down south and spending time with my family. Activity. My favorite holiday activity is a uh, white elephant for Christmas. Humongous Christmas breakfast. My favorite uh, holiday activity has got to be going on the late season duck hunt uh, with family and friends. Putting up the uh, lights on the Christmas tree. Activity. Singing Christmas carols to my neighbors. <laughs> um, making gingerbread cookies. Giving gifts to Mr. Casbury. Uh, probably going Christmas shopping for my family and getting really special gifts. Have you ever seen the thankful turkey outside of Miss Magdus' room? <laughs> again where you start to think about what you're thankful for. Come check out the interactive board outside room 104 and write what you're thankful for on a feather and then when you're done put it on the feathers to review and we will hang out for you. Make sure it's school <laughs>